Hello and welcome to our very first tutorial for PHP BB form. Uh, our first tutorial was requested to us by a member um, who wanted us to show him how to create a full width uh, navigational menu on PHP BB forms. This one is very simple and we're gonna jump right in it. First thing what we're gonna do is tell you a little tip trick that we usually use well that I usually use in creating designs uh, what you're gonna wanna do is head on over to your ACP and after you're, you're here you're gonna go down and click on load settings and what this does by oh well first let me explain you're gonna go down and click on recompile stale style components and you're gonna click on yes then click submit now what that does is, is pretty basic and is very very effective what it does is it, it allows you to edit files on and the template either CSS or HTML or even the image set and just refresh your browser and the effects will be changed instead of having to go into the styles tab and refreshing everything manually so that is is a, is a trick that we that I use and I think is it helps me a lot it saves a lot of time that's for sure so now what we're gonna do is get uh, jump right in it. Let me just refresh that real quick. And first thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna head on over to our trusted uh, to our trusted code editing program, and we're gonna open up stylesheet.css. Now why I'm all doing this is because it, it may be, it'll be easier for the sake of this tutorial, and it may be easier for you. I've added uh, extra. Uh, cascading style sheet to the main style sheet so like that will be I'll be able to edit my own styles on just a uh, on just one style sheet you know instead of having I could basically add my own style sheet instead of adding um editing the ones that are already presented to me why this is effective is keep things more organized for you much easier for you to understand and much easier you to follow you may you if you don't want to do this you don't have to but uh, I'll explain to you why uh, what you can do you can go uh, edit the add all everything that I'm going to show you can add it inside the common.css or you can add it to colors.css if you want to be more organized you can add all the attributes to content that see um, common.css and all the colors and uh, styles to the colors.css but I'm gonna add everything in one so I'm gonna create a new file and I'm gonna call that dot nav CSS Whoops. Oh jeez. Rename. Sorry about that. Um uh, there we go, nav.css. And I already added this. I already imported it to the style sheet. And here's where we're gonna do all our styles. It's not really a lot. I think we're gonna do about four blocks of styles or so around there. Pretty simple. Um we're also gonna head on all we're gonna be using the following uh, files common.css we're going to be using uh, nav.css the newly created uh, style sheet and we're going to be using overall header that's it now first I want to get rid of the HTML so let's work on HTML first we're going to what we're going to do is we're going to work under body ID PHP BB or right here this tag we're going to work right under it and what we're gonna do is I like to add a comment, so I'm gonna add a comment and call it a uh, comment saying begin nav. I'm also gonna add, add another comment saying end nav so I know where it ends. For uh, PHP BB, never use all capital ends because that will mess up your style sheets, you know, due to um, end divs and all that stuff, but we're not gonna get into that. Now the first thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna add our styles. I'm gonna add a div ID and I'm gonna call it nav bg. I don't know, just call it something. And uh, let's see, uh, we're gonna add a ul class and we're gonna call it nav uh, top nav. Let's call it top nav. Nav. There we go. And we're gonna add a li and links. So let's arf. Uh, make it a dummy link. Sorry about that. Make it a dummy link and call it link one. We're, all, we're gonna copy and paste that so that we can have multiple links in one. 
Then I call this link 2, link 3, and link 4. That's basically everything we're going to be using. Um, to show you, that, show you how that would look on the browser, it's going to look kind of dumb, to be honest, but it, it's, it's going to work. And here we go. We have all our links and our stuff on the side like that on an unordered list. And we're going to now fix that with CSS. The first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start adding your styles. We're going to call, we're going to bring in navbg. And we're going to give that 100% width. So we're going to do width 100%, simple enough. We're going to give it a height. I usually go with uh, 30 pixels. We're going to work on, uh, hold on, put this up here. We're going to work on background. We're going to give the background an a easy color. You know, Remember, in this tutorial, I'm not going to be styling the menu because what we're focusing on here is mainly how to get, um, uh, how to get a, how you call it? how to get the code right for making these menus. So we're going to uh, get background color and we're going to give it a nice uh, off-whitish color. We're going to give it a 5. Uh, what else should we do? We're going to give it a border because I'm pretty sure the background color is going to blend in a little bit too much with the background color. So we're going to give it a border so you can see where we're working at. And we're going to um, 1 pixel solid, give it a grayish color. And now we're going to work on our next one. Next one is UL uh, top nav, I believe I called it. UL top nav, that's the class for that. And we're going to give uh, list style none. This removes the bullet points from the list style. Uh, we're going to give it a height. Why do I give it a height? I'll explain that in a minute. And we're going to give it a line height. Here's where I explain it. Uh, I gave it a height because uh, without, without a height, line height cannot work. So what does line height does? Line height centers the any content inside this div vertically it does not work with images it works with text I've tried it with images and for some reason it doesn't work so I can't help you so with that being said that's what it does next thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it a width the width is gonna be uh, the width is gonna be let's give it 970 pixels and let's give it a margin margin uh, zero auto and just for the sake of it I'm gonna put padding zero now what margin zero auto does it basically puts anything inside the unordered list in the middle of the screen at 970 pixels so this basically centers our uh, menu is a lot of people have problems with that but it basically centers our menu next thing that I'm gonna do is uh, work on the the list tag itself. We're gonna use display inline. Why do I use display inline instead of float left like a lot of other people use? Is that I've noticed that display inline allows you to use padding and margin as you want it instead of using float left. With float left, you you really wouldn't have that much uh, of choice using padding and margin. So in this case, I'm gonna use display inline. Next, what I'm gonna do is. I'm gonna add margin zero, let's give it 12 pixels, which means left and no, actually let's make this uh, zero, zero, 12 pixels. What it does is, actually, let me change that again. 12 pixels right here. We're gonna put 12 pixels on the right of the, so each list, each link is gonna have 12 pixels on the right and is gonna push everything to the right. So like that, uh, you don't have to have all these you know spacing problems padding I'm just gonna use zero and uh, let's go with uh, just a quick uh, a block we're gonna add a color to the links we're gonna give it a dark uh, same color as the border uh, let's see what else font family let's work with Verdana just for this tutorial uh, let's give the font size 12 pixels um, and that, that's pretty much all we can that's pretty much it now something else I'm gonna show you how that looks but you're gonna realize this is a problem um, first thing you're gonna see is everything works much better whoops hold on uh, border background, background. Hmm. that's odd 
Um, all right, well, you're going to realize that it you have this white space right here. This white space, what it is, is, is uh, due to the CSS and the common... Uh, then the common now CSS uh, tag. So we're gonna fix that right now. How to fix that is pretty simple. What you're gonna do is head on over to um. You're gonna head on over to. To common CSS and go down to body. Once you find body, you're gonna remove that to zero and add twelve to bottom. So it basically says we're gonna remove twelve pixels from the top and keep it like that, and we're gonna save that. Now that should pretty much work, and it did. Mm, to still more style it, we're gonna uh, give a bottom margin to this. Uh, we're gonna put margin zero 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 about eight pixels, so we can push down everything. And uh, there you go. Uh, for some reason, this isn't working right. Oh, I know why. A border bottom. One pixel solid. Sorry about that. Just made a small mistake. Uh, so there you go. Now you have your bottom margin, so you can see what we're working on. Now uh, we're gonna make this look a little bit much better. This looks kind of dumb having the links right here and the body content um, that big. So to fix it, I always always make the width of the the unordered list the same width as the body in this case we have the width at 970 pixels so let's go to com uh, common.css look for the wrap style and then we're gonna remove these paddings that basically moves the 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 block the body block left and right so we want to remove that uh, we're gonna use margin zero auto so we can center the body content and lastly add a width the width is going to be the same width as the unordered list and it's going to be 970 pixels. With that being done, if we check our design and we have that. So that's pretty much it. It's simple, fast, easy, and efficient is the easiest way to create a, um, a PHP BB form. You could do this on other uh, designs, but the Kato is just a PHP BB form tutorial thing. So. Before I go, I want to show you a couple of websites that I think you should look at. First website that I want to show you guys is Hybrids Cloud. Hybrids Cloud is an upcoming form for resources for graphics, and I'm pretty sure you guys would want to check these guys out. They will show you from everything from graphics, coding, HTML, CSS, you name it, they have it. So you go and check them guys, check these guys out. Um, you guys won't be disappointed. Link in the description below. So that's the first website. Second website is Superpost. Superpost is an upcoming and new form services. These guys will help you advertise. They will help you. They will give you new graphics. I'm actually uh, the graphic team leader. So if you guys want graphics, you'll be getting them from me. Uh, you can also get packages done, everything. This is the place to, to be. Trust me. Next website and last website that I want to show you guys is PHPBB Communities. It's a great website. It's all about uh, PHP. Well, it used to be about PHP BB communities till the older administration uh, administrator had stepped down. We have new administration, but it's not a bad administration. They're making some good moves, and uh, you guys should check them out. And before I go, I just want to let you guys know: if you ever want to find me, you can find me in one of those three websites that are showing you, or you can add me on MSN at thecato at live.com. A link at the description below. So that's all for the tutorial. If you guys found this tutorial helpful, subscribe, comment, and like, and I will be more than happy to create more tutorials. See you later. Peace.